5.5, the derivative of y equals tan x. So in this section, we're going to study the derivative of the uh, primary trig function tangent. Okay, so first we're going to do a little bit of an investigation. We're going to determine the derivative for y equals tan x, but we're not going to do this directly with the tan x. We're going to first rewrite tan x in terms of sin x and cos x, and then we're going to use the product rule. So if we had y equals tan x, we can rewrite this as y equals sin x over cos x. These are equivalent. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as y equals sine x cos negative 1x. All this means is that, because usually this, remember, usually this exponent would be like here, but with sine, cos, and tan, we write it on the inside. Okay, so we're bringing the cos x from the denominator up, and then it has to be raised to a negative 1. So let's take this, which is the equivalent to tan x, and let's find the derivative of that using product rule. Okay, so remember, sine x is u, cos negative 1x is v, and we're doing the derivative of uv is u prime v plus uv prime. Okay, so product rule. Derivative of the first, so derivative of sine and the side of my paper, I'm going to do sine cos, negative sine, negative cos. That's my loop. So derivative of sine is cos. We're going to go cos x, then rewrite v as it is. So cos negative 1x plus u as it is, so sine x, times the derivative of v. So derivative of v that's cos to the negative one that is going to be a power rule so bring that negative one down write cos x as it is and now the derivative the chain rule the derivative of cos x which is cos goes to negative sine And now let's simplify. Okay, when we bring down the negative one, that goes negative one, so that's negative two. Okay, so let's simplify this. So cos x times cos to the negative one x. So this is cos x, and then if we rewrote this, but in the denominator, it would change this neg uh, exponent negative one back to just a one. So, in other words, cos x divided by cos x is just 1. Then, let's simplify this a bit. So, this negative sign here and this negative 1 are going to cancel out to, because they're all multiplied, it's going to just cancel out to like a positive 1. Okay? Then we have sine x times another sine x times so this is cos to the negative two let's bring this into the denominator so let's bring this here and we're going to have cos squared x so sine x times sine x is sine squared x over cos squared x is cos squared x so what we're going to do is we are going to find a common denominator. So the common denominator is going to be cos squared x. So we're going to multiply the 1 by cos squared x over cos squared x. And that's going to give us in the numerator, okay, cos squared x plus sine squared x. And then this is all going to be over cos squared x. Okay, but from Pythagorean's identity, cos squared x plus sine squared x is just 1. So this gives us 1 over cos squared x. And if you remember this one, this is a reciprocal trig ratio. So another way of put, uh, saying 1 over cos 
is secant. So since it's 1 over co squared, it's just secant squared x. So the derivative of tan x is secant squared x. And then this is the demonstration, like the proof, using sine and cos. Okay, so the derivative of y equals tan x is secant squared x. So if we had the composite function secant um, tan of f at x, so tan of a function here, okay, so y equals tan f at x, the derivative is going to be secant squared f at x, okay, so you do derive the tan, it turns into a secant squared, you leave the f at x, but then you multiply by f prime at x. So this is part of the chain rule. Okay, so let's try this. Example one, determine dy by dx for y equals tan x squared plus 3x. So dy by dx, be consistent with the notation. So instead of tan, our derivative is going to be secant squared. And leave the bracket as it is. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by the derivative of the bracket. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of 3 is, 3x is just 3. Okay, example two, determine dy by dx for y equals sine x plus tan x all to the power of four. So dy by dx equals, we're going to do power rule first. So bring the four in front. We have four bracket, the bracket as it is, sine x plus tan x, and then subtract one from that exponent. So to the exponent three. Now we're going to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So the derivative of sine x is cos x plus the derivative of tan x is secant squared x. Example 3, determine dy by dx for y equals x times, that's a multiplication in there, tan 2x minus 1. So this is going to be product rule. We have u and v, and as a reminder, the product rule is u prime v plus uv prime. So I'm going to do it over here. dy by dx. So we have the, the derivative of u, so the derivative of x is just 1. So I'm not even going to actually put that this time. And v as it is. So I'm just going to write tan 2x minus 1 plus u as it is, which is x, times the derivative of v. So the derivative of tan is secant squared. We're going to write 2x minus 1 as it is. Then we're going to multiply by the chain rule. So the derivative of 2x minus 1 is just 2. So we can either leave it like that, or in the second term, we can collect the x and the 2. So it would be plus 2x secant squared, 2x minus 1. 